welcome back to Jubilee Road. So in today's video we are going to look at the all new Hornby Transport for Wales stock. So in front of the camera all this stock is new from Hornby and released in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the class 67 there at the front which is 67014. We currently have three Mark IV coaches and we have the DVT at the back of the train which is just out of shot. Now this isn't a full in-depth review on this, it's more of an overview to give you a sense of what the set is like, quality, pricing and running quality and all that kind of stuff. So let's begin the 67 at the front first. So here is the 67 at the front. Now the class 67 has been in Hornby's range for quite some time and overall it's a very good quality and capable model. You do have the detail at the front all around here as usual, yes we've got sprung buffers, separately fitted um, windscreen wiper there, fully uh, operating lights here and down there. Uh, the extra detail is in the bag, I've only fitted the front valance so far but I will get into fitting all the pipe work and couplings onto the front of the locomotive. We just follow it down. Yes, it does have an extremely plain livery, but that is what the Transport for Wales 67 is like in real life. But Hornby have done a nice job and it seems to be very well done. And there is the number, as I said, 67014. And we do have a information panel just here. And my eyesight is definitely not good enough to read that. Uh, the locomotive is currently DCC ready. It does have um, sort of a space for you to put the decoder in and I believe it is an 8 pin decoder. And that will be happening uh, over the next few weeks. This grill is particularly nice. I really do like that nice etched grill on there. And it is metal by the way it feels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's metal. Very nice. And there is the exhaust assembly on the roof as well. So yeah. That is really nice. So if we slowly move the train forward, there we go. Here is the first of the Mark IV coaches. Now you can see there, there is no gangway connection on this coach. I was so hoping Hornby would model it that way because that's how it runs in the Transport for Wales colours or service, shall we say. The coaches then, again, extremely plain livery. And yes, they are basically in the old LNER colours. You can see that. They ha Transport for Wales didn't change that. They just added their own branding, which you can see there. And again, Hornby has printed them very well here on the sides. And that does really look quite smart. Overall, the coaches are nicely detailed. You can see the detail around the door there, the buttons to open it and the handrails. Um, there's not a lot to speak of with these coaches. They're quite plain and simple in real life, aren't they? But overall, they are nice coaches. We got another coach just there then, uh, which is virtually the same as the one we just looked at. And then if we go a little bit further, we have this one, a little bit more detail to speak of. You can see the blue lines running down the side of the coach here. And I believe there is that's where the toilet is in this coach, I believe so. But the coaches are really rather nice. I paid £44 each for these coaches and to be honest in this day and age £44 for a coach is actually pretty good value for money. Although I will be honest they do feel I don't know a little bit see hear that they're a little bit cheap feeling but I suppose again for that £44 price tag for a coach these days is still rather good value. And lastly we have the DVT at this end. The number on this is 82229 and again very very plain livery. The only sort of text to speak of is the T on the side which kind of reminds me of the load hall livery. Do you remember that with the big T on the side? Kind of reminds me of that. Uh, overall the DVT is actually really nicely done. You got, I'm not sure what this is, can anybody tell me what this is? Is it something to do with communication? Sort of an aerial under there? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know much about these DVTs, so please let me know. There is obviously access doors here. Uh, the bogey detail, again, yeah, it's done really nice. And if we just come round the front, you can see we do have obviously directional lighting. We have sprung buffers again. The details and the operating 
lighting which I mentioned and obviously we got the uh, separately fitted windscreen wipers just get a zoom in there that's really nicely done uh, now this is really rather expensive for what they are they're about 85 pound I believe for the DVTs uh, which is a lot but you got to buy it if you want this full set. Uh, again, yeah, Hornby have done a really nice job, but again, just feels a little bit plasticky on, on the cheap side, although it looks good. I gotta admit, it really does look quite nice. You can also fit an eight pin decoder in this to uh, go with the class 67 at the front. And again, I will be doing this in the near future. When you do buy these Mark IV coaches in the Transport for Wales Navy, you do get alternative coupling in the parts bag that each coach comes with. Now, I have fitted these and wow, look at the gap between there. There's virtually nothing at all. Now, you'd think that would be a problem going around curves, but no. See that? They do pull apart when going round curves. Now that's a really good idea. I've obviously removed the tension lock couplers straight away and fitted those. And thank you Hornby for including those. It really just adds to this set and makes it look so much more realistic. Let's go away from the camera now as usual. And as I did say earlier, this is currently DCC ready. So we're running it on my Gage Master Analog Controller. So here we go. And as you saw there, it's not the smoothest in that direction. It's definitely better coming towards you and there you can see the operating lights and the model is now smoothed out really well. We just let the set uh, come past the camera there and we just slow it down as the DVT gets to there and we'll just uh, slow it down there and bring it back in to shot again. The Loco definitely needs a good run in, it seems a tad on the jumpy side, you could possibly see that, but nothing to worry about too much. So there is the running quality, uh, yeah, pretty decent, it's not the best I've ever had running quality, but anyway. So thank you very much for watching, let me know your thoughts on the new Hornby Transport for Whale stock, and I will be doing a comparison with the Arriva Trains Whale set that they did a few years ago. So sit back and enjoy the running session of the new Transport for Wales set here at Jubilee Road. And I'll be back here or on location very soon. Bye everyone.